What's up guys, this is how this vlog is going to start with me in Hong Kong at my hotel on the way to a press event celebrating the 10 year anniversary of our friends over at Zotac. They called me out over here to Hong Kong because it's their birthday, it's their 10th birthday. They're still, they're still little babies, but uh, they are going to be showing off some really cool stuff in celebration of their birthday, including some new products that you guys might find interesting. So we're going to go head over there. Oh, and on top of that, they're also hosting a World Cup for CSGO. So they uh, pulled a lot of the uh, pro gamers from around the world. There's Japan, Korea, US, Europe, and all of them. Um, who are going to be competing for, I would guess, some kind of cash prize or maybe just bragging rights, which is also very nice. Um, so that's going on as well. So after the press conference, uh, the embargo will lift and I'll be able to tell you all the nice things that Zotac is coming out with either later this year or early next year, I believe. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at their showroom because I know there's a lot of demos and, and cool hardware going on over there. All right, so just getting things started with the big guns right here. This is the GeForce GTX 1080. Uh, is this the Amp Extreme? Yes, it is the Amp Extreme. Look at how massive this is. This is the biggest video card I've seen in a long time. Check out the fin stack on this bad boy. Sweet mother of God. So you get dual eight pins, PCIe, so uh, better stability for overclocking. Might actually even land you a few extra megahertz on the, on the GPU core clock. Uh, triple fan. Fans are got a pretty cool uh, design, again, with the carbon fiber that Zotec has been known for in recent years. You get some RGB LEDs with their Spectrum lighting software. Very nice uh, wraparound. You get a wraparound backplate. Um, again, with this freaking heatsink, it's uh, it's pretty beefy. I think I counted about six six millimeter uh, copper heat pipes there. Let's see what the specs are here. So again, GTX 1080. Sorry for the autofocus. Uh, 2560 CUDA cores, of course. Base clock of 1771 to a boost of 1911 megahertz. Pretty sure this bad boy can hit 2.1 gigahertz, no problem. But I'd probably have to try that out to verify first. Let's see what else we've got here. The EKO fan ice storm cooling system, all that good stuff. I pretty much covered the rest. Of course, the uh, the fans the fans will freeze, go to zero RPM if it's uh, the GPU is under 60 degrees, so that's nice. Working our way down the shelf here, we've got two GTX 1060s that we're checking out here. There's one over here which looks a little bit more on the basic side, uh, kind of a no frills design. It's got a single fan that's blown down on a heatsink. You do get one six pin PCIe connector, which is a uh, reference, reference style. No backplate or anything like that. This is a six gig model, however, so um, you will get that extra VRAM, that GDDR5. Uh, over here, we've got another GTX 1060. However, this is um, looks a little bit nicer, I would say. It's got better uh, better cooling setup, it looks like. It's got two fans instead of one. It's also got just kind of a nicer looking design. Looks like a little bit higher quality. Uh, again, you do get the same six pin PCIe connector. Very nice looking from the front. It's pretty uh, color neutral, so it matched in a lot of cases. Black PCB as well. That's nice. Get your heatsink, open air shroud. Looks like a couple, couple copper heat pipes in there as well. Video outs are pretty much standard. That's also reference. Let's take a look at the uh, clock speeds here. So again, this is um, a six gig version as well with a base clock of 1,556 megahertz, boost of 1,771 versus 1,708 on the boost on, uh, on, this, uh, on this other card here. So definitely uh, this is probably the slightly faster, slightly more expensive version, but looks pretty sweet. So this is perhaps the newest addition to the Zotac line of graphics cards. This is their GTX 1050 Ti. I like how mini it is. It's pretty much the, the cooler extends the exact dimensions of the PCB itself, so it's not going to be any more than six or so inches, which is going to be really great for small form factor. Would go great with in something like the Note 202 or or similar. It's got a single fan, which is actually fairly large. It looks like uh, that might be a 100 or I think that's a 100 millimeter fan. No PCIe connector here, so this is going to be more of the uh, the basic reference style design in terms of the the cooling and power delivery, which is uh, going to mean you're going to be able to get all your juice straight through the motherboard PCIe slot, 75 watts to be exact. Not too shabby, actually. It's got a nice like uh, plastic enclosure here. That's a fairly nice design and um, hopefully, hopefully it runs pretty quiet as well. As far as the specs go, you've got a base clock of 1,392 megahertz with a boost of 1,506. 768 CUDA cores, of course, everything else is pretty much standard. You do get the same four gigs of GDDR5 at seven gigahertz on a 128-bit bus with a DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.0B, and dual link DVI. So also these uh, video outs are pretty much the same as they would be on the uh, reference design as well from NVIDIA, which, uh, which, is, which, is pretty, which is pretty okay with me. I don't think many 
many people are going to be connecting more than three displays at a time to this card, although the display engine does support uh, additional panels, but that's going to be, have to be something in the future that we see from a board partner like Zotac. All right, so you guys might recognize this little PC here. It's because I've actually talked about it before at Computex earlier this year. Um, they had a, a demo of this, but it was a fully transparent chassis, so you could look inside, and the first thing that you would realize is that it was completely custom water-cooled. Everything from the CPU and the GPU, all done from the ground up by Zotac, uh, was freaking water-cooled. So this is the Magnus EN 980, so it's got a GTX 980. It's, it's all Maxwell and old and stuff. However, Zotac is going to be releasing some very promising news about an update to this partic particular uh, model that uh, you guys might find interesting. So um, stay tuned for that. Alright guys, so Zotac has just concluded their uh, press conference here at the hotel and they've announced three big new products that uh, I think you guys are probably going to get a kick out of. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at those three options and see what they have in store for us. Mini pretzel. Alright, so here it is guys. This is the Magnus EN 1080 and uh, this is new product number one. As, you, as the name might suggest, you could probably infer that this has a GTX 1080 in it, full desktop GPU, inside of a very slim, or I should say small form factor, kind of cubish in shape and design, um, but it does have a really nice look to it. It's all black, it's got some nice ventilation at the top, and look at this, you've got LEDs on the front and the side, kind of got some nice 10 year anniversary branding there. These are RGB LEDs, I believe they're uh, configurable in the Spectra software, which is kind of nice. I'm sure that you can also disable them as well so it's not too distracting. Look at this, on the front panel you get HDMI, Autofocus! HDMI for uh, VR, HMDs, which is super cool. Also USB 3.1 front panel, both type A and type C connectors, and an SD card reader. Moving around to the back, sexy, more ventilation. Look at all the outputs you get, four USB 3. You also get two DisplayPort 1.3s and two HDMI outs. Dual gigabit, Ethernet LAN, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. This is new product number DOS. You can see it's got a GPU water block on it, courtesy of Thermaltake. They've slapped a custom one on here for the 10-year anniversary. It's got RGB LEDs, of course, all around the edges. Again, you can con configure that in the Spectra software. You do get dual 8-pin connectors right here for added power. Very nice backplate on the back as well. On top of this, you're also getting a 16-phase power design, so it's going to help you uh, better regulate any kind of power delivery that you might have at higher clock speeds, which is always nice to see. Additionally here, look at these G and a quarter inch fittings there, and you can uh, put whatever fittings, of course, you like on there. And I believe you can swap it to either side, so you can uh, ha have your pick on how exactly you want to configure your inlets and outlets here. Also, dual BIOS on this thing. And the cool thing about this dual BIOS is that you can actually switch it either hardware or software uh, based. So you can, there's a, I believe there's a switch on the board itself, or you can hop into the Firestorm program and uh, configure it and switch it off that way. So you have kind of a gaming mode, maybe a backup BIOS for whatever settings, overclock settings, or tweaks that you want to put on it. So another cool thing about this graphics card is that it will come included with a very special limited edition SLI high bandwidth bridge from Zotac. It actually looks really nice. I personally like the minimalistic design that they're going with here. But uh, on top of that, if you did want to uh, pick one of these up, they will probably be available in December, but you're going to have to pick them up quick because these are only available in limited quantities. It's probably also going to cost you an arm and a leg. Just saying. And winding down the new products that Zotec has announced at their 10 year anniversary event is the VR Go backpack. Now we actually, I got to demo this back in Computex earlier this year and it's changed significantly since then. You can see it's no longer just a simple like fabric and mesh design. It's it's completely enclosed in like a hard shell case, which is uh, I think believe, I believe is made of plastic, which helps helps it be a little bit lighter uh, and also more durable as well. It was kind of one of my concerns with the uh, with the fabric was that how how is that going to hold up wear and tear over long over the long periods of time. But uh, I kind of like what they've done here. Of course, that is going to add a little bit of weight to the equation. So I believe it's uh, weighing in at around 10 pounds. So based on I don't know just how how much tolerance you have for for back strain and what game you're playing, I think that could. Uh, severely impact whether or not that's an issue for any of you. Look at that, holsters. That, that was not there in, uh, in in Computex as well. You get two holsters on each side, I think, so you could have one Vive controller on, on either side, and I believe she, she is holding the, uh, the HMD there, but there's also a hook that you can suspend it on when you're not actually uh, actively gaming, which is kind of handy. Also, there's uh, video outputs on the top and I believe on the side, so you get either configuration, whatever's more convenient to you. Um, you can have your HMD coming out 
either or. Uh, there's also lots of ventilation, again, going back to the back of the case here, um, which uh, is gonna be better for airflow and, and temperatures and things like that. Now, there's also, I believe that's a battery life indicator LED that I can't imagine what else that would be. And if you look over there to the left of, on the left side of the case is a hot swappable battery. So I believe they said it takes about two hours to charge it and then you get two hours of play time. So if you have two or three of these batteries, you can pretty much just play uninterrupted continuously um, without ever having to really um, stop your gameplay, which is really, really cool. That's uh, not something that they had uh, completely ironed out yet at Computex, so it's nice to see these additional changes. And finally, I don't know if we can get a good B-roll shot of it later, but oh, there it is. There, you can see some, some uh, cabling, some excess cabling. So while this does provide a, a very nice untethered experience for you and your HMD, there's still a lot of excess cable that could be lying around that you might have to find a place to tuck, or, tuck up or zip tie together, Velcro strap it. So there's actually a little, uh, little area on your utility belt here that allows you to stash all that excess cabling. So that's, that's really nice too. All right, so this is the final freaking round of the entire World Cup here, CSGO. We got VG CyberZen from China versus Splice. Splice needs one more round. If they win this round, they win the entire tournament. So uh, the crowd's pretty on edge at the moment. Oh. Oh, God. One guy left. Oh. That's it. Wow. That's it. Splice wins. Splice for the win. Congrats, guys. All right. Time for dinner. Look at this mini PC. It's actually a cake. Someone messed it up already. Very sad. We are on our way. We're on a shuttle now. Everyone uh, at the event is on their way to China. We're gonna cross the, the Hong Kong Chinese border. Uh, got our visas ready. We're going to the Dongin factory tour. Uh, for Zotac, of course, um, where we get to see how GPUs are made. We're going to get to see all the ins and outs of where uh, Zotac makes most, if not all, of their, their hardware, like graphics cards. Uh, that probably would include like the mini PCs and stuff, so that should be pretty cool. All right, so we have just got off the bus, and we've stopped for lunch before we actually head to the factory. We're at this uh, fancy hotel. I, I don't know the name of it. We just kind of ended up here. But it's a Japanese Japanese restaurant. Check this out. That's the real deal. Mother of God. There's one like every two feet. I, I, I don't know. I don't know which one do I do. Which one do I eat? Both. Why can't it be both? Did I mention it's buffet style? What? Come on, come on, you've gotta be, you've gotta be kidding me, right? You totally, come on. Oh, come on, oh, stop it. Come on, come on, really, oh my, oh God, oh. Jesus, oh, what, what, what is that? I'm so full. I'm never eating, never eating fish again. We're here now at the factory. PC Partner is the name of the uh, add and board su uh, supplier for companies like Zotech and a bunch of others. So, pretty pretty big name in, around these parts in, uh, in mainland China. Oh, uh, I think I think we're getting lab coats or those, those are uh, some anti-static coats. It's the latest trend in China. It's the latest trend. We're gonna look so hip. It, it, I'm gonna start building my PCs in these coats. No, you should. I really should. So fly right now. What? Your pointy I shoes. Aladdin shoes. Where'd you get those? Right here. Right here? That's oh, what's going on scared. here? Oh my god, I'm scared. All the way down. Oh! oh okay. Sorry. All right, other one? Not yet. Oh, not yet? All right, here we go again. Oh my god, that's amazing. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Low key, we look pretty fly though. Here's some factory workers, hard at work, watching the machines closely making sure that they don't become self-aware and take over the world.
This guy's job is the exact opposite of mine. He's a professional boxer. And there they are. The finished package. Can I can I have one of those? Just just maybe one or two? No? Okay. Alright, so the GPUs are pretty much all built. They got their shrouds and coolers on them. Looks pretty good. Now it's uh, time for testing. They just gotta test them out. If it uh, shows up with a signal of some sort, some kind of video output like that one over there was just doing, then I believe that's a pass. And if not, then they, I don't know, throw them in the garbage or something. Ooh, this one, this one made it to the BIOS. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that one's good. So apparently this is where uh, all the best jobs at Zotac are in this room here, where you get to actually test the cards by playing games. It's about a four hour run to determine whether or not a GPU has passed or failed. So these guys just do game. They get to game all day, playing Overwatch on big screen TVs and stuff, um, you know, and get paid doing it. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome. This is the fan testing room, everybody. In case you couldn't tell. So this is the dust testing room where they actually simulate a worst case scenario and they introduce a lot of dust into the room and see, uh, you know, if, if the component fails or not, pretty much. Uh, I probably shouldn't open the door though. I probably shouldn't do that. EMI testing room. Pretty epic. Pretty cool. So there's a double door here. Insulated, we're going into the anechoic chamber where they do the acoustics test. This is gonna make me really jealous because uh, all the acoustics tests I do at home are pretty much over overridden by uh, by traffic outside my window. This is really weird. I can barely like hear you. <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah, it is. Bouncing off. It's incredibly quiet yeah. in here. Almost it too is, quiet. It's <laughs> really weird though. It is really yeah, weird. Like it it's almost kind of kind of eerie. Plane, right? Yeah, and no, I thought like I was losing hearing for a second. The factory tour is over, and we are now hitting the streets at night. In Hong Kong. We're back in Hong Kong. We made it back safely from China. We didn't go to prison. It's awesome. Uh, now we've been led by one of the locals to this place called Delaney's, which uh, looks like an Irish pub. Can't get, can't get much more Chinese than that. when I'm traveling abroad is always go to at least one really nice restaurant just to experience some of the fine dining in a culture you're not familiar with. So we've uh, found our way here to uh, Ming's Court which has actually got a Michelin star under its belt. I haven't been to too many of these types of restaurants but so far the food has been amazing. This just rolled out. Barbecue pork. This is uh, one of their signature dishes and I'm about to eat it so I'm gonna stop filming now. So, the Zotac uh, event, as far as we know, is over, and they've kind of uh, let us on our own. We're just running wild here in Hong Kong. So we had to switch hotels because there was no way we were paying for that nice-ass place for an additional two days here. So, we got a hostel. This is the first hostel I've ever stayed at. And actually, it's the first hostel that any of us have ever stayed at. And this is our room. We're in room number five, but this is the room. There's, there's a bunk bed, and there's, that's where the room ends. This is it. There's, there's two bunk beds. Luckily, the bottom one's a little bit bigger for, for me and Wifey Sauce. Kyle gets the top bunk. And, and a bathroom. And check out this bathroom. The bathroom is actually integrated with the shower itself. The That's shower cool. faucet is right there. That is efficiency. It's innovation. That is space maximization. It's, it's pretty impressive. Um, I'm excited. I can tell Heather's excited. Try to, try to contain your excitement a little bit, honey. You know you're going to love that shower. You know. This is, oh my gosh. You're going to wipe the shit out of that shower. Um, but this was in our budget. And uh, hey, at least there's AC. There's a nice AC unit. It feels pretty good. We got everything we need. This is this is the life. Let me tell you. This is this is the the hallway to our hostel. It it looks like from the movie Hostel. Or saw. Or saw. This is pretty. Look at look at the walls here. Could use a paint job. Maybe just a bit. It is another bright, beautiful, sunny, and humid as hell day here in Hong Kong. We have found our way to the Kowloon Park, which is a pretty massive property here uh, that's right across the street from our hotel. It's like a three second walk. And um, my wife spotted this aviary sign. She's a huge, huge, huge bird fan for some reason. So uh, she immediately ran up the stairs as soon as she, she saw this. So let's go ahead and check it out. 
But what do we have here? Look at that. Look at that. The, 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 the bird. That's the, that the white man. Really? I think I picked that one for the, for the supper. We eat you for breakfast. I'm getting hungry. You can't put his feathers up and doesn't like that. Hey, don't turn your back on me. I make a Kung Pao chicken out of your eye. Uh, would you uh, like to come with me? Uh, I know a man. I know a man who, who would uh, love, to, love to meet you. His name is uh, the, the Colonel Sanders. Show me your fate. Show me your fate. Why you coward? Why you coward? Show me your fate. I bet that beak could taste real nice. <laughs> now we go to Beijing Tong Ren Pang. Look at this energy drink. Slow cow. It's like Red Bull, but instead of a bull, it's a, it's a lazy cow. How, how awesome is that? Mind cooler. Honey, get down from there. Get down from there right now. You're gonna hurt yourself. It's dim sum time. We are eating all the dim sums. So far everything's really, 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 really good. This place is called Dim Dim Sum. This is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. All right, so we just took a stroll through that park over there, kind of uh, embedded in the midst of all these buildings. And we're headed somewhere over there. You can see some white tents all popping up. That's a food and wine festival. It's the wine and dine festival. It's an annual thing that happens in Hong Kong. As the name suggests, food and wine. We're gonna, we're gonna check it out. Even though we just ate dim sum. This is all we're doing on this trip is eating. Eating way too much. This is one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, festivals in Hong Kong that happens annually, um, according to someone who works here. So I, I have in fact checked that at all, but it's a pretty massive event. We've walked for like, I think it probably takes you an hour to walk around the entire thing once if you weren't stopping at any of the booths. So there's plenty of stuff to try out here. Regardless of what you're into, you'll probably find something that you really enjoy. Um, and it's really cool because they've got Europe here too. It's not just Hong Kong stuff. They got Europe, Australian. I had an Australian beer. I had some Riesling, which was a really nice German wine. A lot of good stuff here. I think the last thing I'm going to spend my token on is probably some good old scotch. If I can find some nice Irish whiskey. And that'll probably seal the deal here. I think at that point we're probably going to go look for some dinner. Maybe some, some hot pot Sichuan. Sounds pretty tasty. So, yeah. Pretty fun last day. If I do say so myself. So Kyle got stopped for an interview and I was like, well, I'm gonna go vlog, I'm out of here. And then Heather sat down next to him and then she got approached with some <laughs> with another interview. And I'm just I'm just standing here laughing my ass off. Heather's like, I'm sorry, this is this is all in Chinese. I don't I don't really know what this character means. Oh that, uh, that means you uh, you sell your soul to Chinese prison. You come work for us for free for for all eternity. I'll just sign your name right here. Uh, make sure to sign it in blood and then we'll, we'll call it a day. Uh, I'm gonna go get a beer while those suckers answer questions. Strike a pose, very beautiful. Beautiful. Now we're at uh, Dan Dan Soul Food from Sichuan. I like the I like the cartoon going on here. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be spicy. It's gonna be. I like that spicy food. I want the spicy one. I want to, uh, to, to, to burn my asshole. I need to burn my asshole. I need to I need a shit robber. A shit robber like the molten robber. That's how I know it's very good. It's the good one. Look at look at how happy, happy how very happy the, the couple is. Eating, uh, eating the hot food and shooting at the asshole, burning hot lava. This is a nice chili oil. oil. Go on to dumplings. That looks pretty bomb. Yeah, it does. So good. That looks pretty bomb. It's so good. So mm. much flavor. Yeah, that looks pretty bomb. This, this looks the best. This is the best one. Just oh. look at it. Just look at it. Ah, uh, the elixir of life. Take it away, Kyle. Yes. Yes. Why, thank you, sir. Nom, 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 nom. Cheers. Woo. All 
Alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for the Hong Kong vlog of 2016. Thank you so much to Zotac for making this trip possible, both for myself, 2.0, and Wifey Sauce. We all had an excellent time checking out your guys' new products that are coming very soon, as well as checking out the, uh, the factory tour that was super cool as well. So uh, thank you guys for watching this vlog. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more stuff coming at you really soon, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out.